it's not a problem that's going to go away with some dye in the water. Lake Delton dyed blue, but some say making it pretty for tourists isn't the best idea. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. Sarah has a night off. First tonight at 10, Lake Delton is looking a little bluer than usual. Those who dyed the water hope it gets more tourists to cool off there instead of heading for other water. News 3's Danica Lewis checked out the new color and has continuing coverage. Danica. Certainly an interesting sight to see, Eric, if you haven't seen anything like it before. At least six complaints about the dye are filed with the DNR, and the company that put the dye into Delton says there was an investigation which already wrapped up, but that doesn't mean everyone is on board with making the lake bluer, at least not in this way. Jet skiers, boaters, and lake goers of all kinds could be noticing a lake of a different color. We tinted the water blue, and it looks great. Delton was dyed earlier this month, a water makeover totaling about $30,000. Neighbors say that might be too steep. I think that $30,000 could have gone into road maintenance or something else, but that's just me. Community leaders say the cost is not coming out of taxpayers' pockets, but from a pot of tourist-driven funds. That pales in comparison to what we spend maintaining the, the natural resource that we have here, the lake. Aqua Engineering's Josh Britton says dying Delton was a last resort to save the lake from looking and smelling less than desirable, possibly turning tourists away after all other options to control algae failed to do the trick. When people are begging for something to be done, and then something is done, and it turns out as positive as this, um, in, it's not for me to interpret the value. If you could apply that money toward upstream solutions, it would be money better spent. Matt Kruger is with the River Alliance of Wisconsin and says the Blue Hue product is labeled as non-toxic. He's not sure what the effect could be on water life, but says the pollution should be dealt with directly, not covered with a different color. I don't know what the impact is going to be. It's more, the, the point we're making is it's what was done is not a viable solution to, to a, a more complex issue. Blue, green, or any other color, some living near the lake care most about the simpler things of summer. As long as it doesn't affect the fishing, I'm okay. Now, Aqua Engineering had to get a special permit from the DNR to use this dye. It does require that the company limit the product to the assigned treatment area, in this case, Lake Delton, as best as possible. But that being said, uh, Eric, the DNR is uh, the one that suggests that overflow into the Wisconsin River. That probably wouldn't do anything mm -hmm. to aquatic life or any other person that came in contact with that water so interesting story it has sure generated a lot of conversation oh yeah that's for sure danica thank you very much new at 10 an active police investigation is ongoing in sauk county authorities